What's going on, guys? Andre Hagel Jr. here from Client Ascension, back with another student spotlight interview. Uh, I think this is number six, uh, and I'm here with uh, Max Alderman. So, Max, welcome. Yo, what's going on? Thanks for having me on here, bro. Of course, dude. I've been wanting to catch up with you and, and see how things are going for a while. So, this is a great opportunity for us to do this. Uh, and so, first question that I like to ask people on these is just, who are you, and, and what are you working on, and what are you all about? Yeah, so I'm based in uh, California and started in the agency space like, fuck, like, I don't even know how long ago, but <laughs> currently doing email marketing. Um, my niche is e-commerce, so, you know, very cookie cutter uh, uh, niche and offer. So, yeah, that's what I do. That's cool, man. Has that been what you've done since you've joined Client Ascension or have you transitioned offers or what has that been looking like? Yeah, so I originally started with um, Facebook ads, like back when that was like sort of the main thing. Um, <laughs> I was doing email marketing sometime after that iOS update, um, like a little bit before I joined Client Ascension, and I basically had no idea what I was doing. Um, but yeah, so it's been pretty smooth sailing since uh, since I joined Client Ascension, I would say. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's funny. There's like three or four guys that joined that I've already done these student spotlight interviews with that like came into the program with a Facebook offer and then mm. immediately transitioned off of that. Uh, so it was a pretty funny trend, honestly. But uh, yeah. I guess, how did you hear about Client Ascension? Um, So funny story, I was actually sort of just like scrolling through Twitter during like the crypto uh, fucking bull run. <laughs> Uh, somehow, cause I was, I was in the Facebook ads agency space. I don't know how, but like the algorithm just started showing me like people in the agency space, like money, Twitter and all that. When I originally went there to join like crypto Twitter. Um, and I came across, I think it was like cold email wizard. So Daniel, his, uh, his stuff, uh, bought into cold email mastery, um, did that, um, and then I saw you guys started running this offer for like client ascension and I had all these problems and I'm like, fuck, <laughs> like, can I just like pay them to like figure all this out for me? So, um, so yeah, it just made sense. Hopped on a call with, um, Dan and, uh, yeah, here we are. That's cool, man. Yeah. You were one of the very first to join because Dan, uh, who now is like the sales team director, like he's, he hasn't been on the calendar for a while. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's really <laughs> cool, man. You're one of the OGs, which is a good yeah, thing. Yeah, I guess. Been in here for a while, and you're crushing it. So, uh, you obviously answered why did you decide to join? It's because you uh, related to a lot of the pain points that a lot of these agency owners struggle with. So, I guess since joining, like, kind of walk us through the journey you've been on, uh, and maybe share some wins and milestones you've achieved. Um, yeah. So. Holy shit, bro. Like I could talk about client ascension all day, but basically it pretty much solved like, like everything. Um, <laughs> and it's funny cause like a couple of people have asked me like, um, about client ascension. Like they see me in some of the testimonials and stuff. I'm like, yeah, bro, just like, just fucking join, you know? So, um, but yeah, when I first joined, I had one big client that was paying me most of my sort of income. I was at around 5k a month, but I knew like, I couldn't just rely on like one person. Um, mm -hmm. And then eventually they sort of took their um, service in-house. Um, it was a pretty sort of big brand. Um, so I was stuck at like 1k per month um, at the start of the program. And yeah, Client Ascension pretty much solved everything. It solved lead gen sales, uh, client fulfillment, um, and now I'm currently sitting anywhere from like 10 to 15 K, which is chill. Um, but you know, also the community aspect of like client Ascension too, almost by like osmosis, I, I'm, I'm making this amount of money, which was my original goal. And I'm like, bro, like 10 to 15 K, you know, like that, that's not really, <laughs> that ain't shit. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, it's kind of crazy. I didn't even think about that. So. Yeah, just being, just seeing the wins channel and flipping through that and yeah, dude, some it's, of the it's other guys. It's fucking wild, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Yeah. yeah, dude, it's motivating for sure. Oh, yeah. Um, and yeah. one of the cool things that you talked about is like, I remember working with you on the fulfillment side of things. And I remember you telling me that you were spending like 12 hours or just all day 
uh, doing client work. And so maybe talk a little bit about that transition and, you know, how that's just improved or impacted your quality of life. Yeah. Um, all right. So I remember, um, I remember going from like, my life was like almost all completely sales and trying to figure out how to even sign clients to like, I signed a bunch, like kind of all at once, like, um, they all kind of joined all at the same time. Um, and then my life sort of turned into like, uh, I guess I'm sort of a freelancer at that point, but I was basically doing everything I was doing. Um, the strategy, the copywriting, I had some people helping me with the design, but, um, which helped a bit, but even then, like literally, like I would wake up to like clients hitting me up and then I'd be like trying to complete all the tasks throughout the day. And then like, uh, before I knew it, it was like already like 10 PM at night and I'd end up <laughs> until, like 1 AM in the morning. I'm like, all right, this is better than when I had no clients but it still fucking sucks. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, so yeah, uh, I hit you up. I, I was like joining like all your calls. I'm like, yo, Andre, like how the fuck do I solve this? You know? Um, and then somebody, I, th I think it was David actually, uh, David connected me with Kyle shout out to Kyle, um, runs a great, uh, service with, um, sourcing talent. So he, he literally hooked me up with like, um, four, highly qualified candidates. I picked one, been training her ever since she's been a great fit. Um, and yeah, I would say probably like 80% of the client work has been sort of, um, delegated and she's doing pretty much an equal, uh, level of, um, quality of service as I was able to, which is sort of the ideal situation. You know what I mean? So, yeah. um, yeah, we're getting, we're getting out of the client work, bro. That's cool, man. Yeah. Good for you. That's awesome. The, uh, yeah, it's cool. Like the connection to that talent happened inside of Client Ascension too. Like I've seen that uh, with a bunch of the guys, and even for myself, I've been hiring some guys through Kyle, who you mentioned, who's uh, also a Client Ascension student, mm. which is yeah. cool. Uh, one last question for me is: I also noticed like you and some of the other guys, like from Client Ascension, you kind of have like your own group that uh, does hangouts and whatnot out in uh, California. So, what's the impact like? I guess with connecting with a community like client Ascension outside of like Slack and, and online. Yeah, no, it's super dope, bro. Like, um, just getting to meet up with people who they're all ahead of me, by the way, like in terms of like <laughs> progress, which, which it's super helpful, you know, like, um, yeah. when I first got into client Ascension, I was still friends with like, and I still am friends with like, you know, people outside of this whole space. Um, but it's it's weird you you almost get like it almost like shifts your mindset when you see people posting like in the winds channel like meeting these people in real life or posting like oh i just signed a 20k deal i'm like what the fuck you know and getting to talk to those people and hang out with them um i know most of you guys are on the east coast i haven't been able to attend any of the in-person like main official events but yeah, getting to hang out with the West Coast people has been super dope, um, super motivating, too, because, like, I'm always thinking, like, all right, I got to, like, step my shit up because <laughs> next time I hang out with anybody, it's like, oh, what have you been doing, Max? It's like, oh, you know, it's like, stuck at this level. It's like, you know, fuck that, you know? So, um, yeah. yeah, no, the community aspect in person, but also on the Slack channel has been fucking huge. So that's awesome, man. Yeah, I'm happy to hear that. Um, and so just to wrap this, where can people find you, follow you, and also learn more about uh, potentially working with you and your agency? Yeah, so you can find me on Twitter. I'm currently uh, pretty active on there at Max underscore Alexander with two X's. Alexander, two X's. I'm a picture of a penguin. Um, <laughs> or you can go to my website, skyrodigital.com. Um, if you run an e-com brand or if you're an agency owner, you just want to check out my stuff. Um, and yeah. Awesome, man. Thank you so much, Max. This was a pleasure. It was great to catch up and hear more about your story and share it with the community and everyone else who's watching and looking forward to see more growth from you and your agency. Thanks for having me on, bro. Of course.